the Surface Book 3 is here. And as you guys know, we're gonna do a review on this device, but we're gonna focus a lot on gaming and performance. So, without wasting any more time, let's start doing some gaming. Microsoft's Surface Book line has grown over the years and the third generation is here. We have the 15 inch variant in the house. I wanna thank Microsoft for sending the device over. Now, uh, the 15 inch Surface Book and the 13 inch Surface Book um, look really similar to last year's variant. Honestly, design wise hasn't changed much, but you can expect that with an iterative change with, from Microsoft, but I'll still say it's still a good looking device. Now, pricing for the Surface Book line starts at $1599 with a 13.5 inch variant, while the 15 inch variant starts at $2299. The unit we have from Microsoft here is priced at $2799, and it comes with the 10th Gen Core i7, which is a quad core processor. Uh, we also have 32 gigabytes of RAM, but it, it starts at 16. Now, storage is 512 gigabytes. And this also comes with a GTX 1660 Ti with six gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. So you've got all that packed into this device and we talked about design. What do you have for ports, connectivity, all that fun stuff. So on the left-hand side on the base, uh, you do have two USB 3.1 uh, ports, USB-A, and then we also have uh, an SD card slot on that side, which is nice. So it's great to have that. On the right-hand side, we have the proprietary port uh, for charging which uses a 127 watt charger. I do like that they've kept it, even though some people don't like it, but you know, every laptop company has a different port to try, except Apple, which is actually cool that they have USB Type-C for charging. Uh, while there's also USB Type-C uh, Gen 2 3.1 as well for connectivity. So you have that on the base. The display is a 4K display. It's a lovely looking display. Uh, you've got speakers all around. There's a headphone jack on the right-hand side, a power and a volume button. And it's got two cameras. It's got Windows Hello. I love Windows Hello. It's so easy to just walk up, your device is unlocked. I like it, it's great. I wish every laptop had it. It's much easier than fingerprint sensor or anything. It just, it just works. So I like that feature built in. Now, that keyboard is cool. I gotta say, before we even get into any of the gaming, especially even while you're trying to use it to game, the keyboard is great for typing. It's probably one of the best keyboards I've used. Uh, when I started typing on it, I was like, wow, wow, this is pretty good. It feels comfortable, it's easy to use, uh, and it works really well. The trackpad is also really smooth. The keyboard is backlit as well, so of course you're writing at night, that will also work. But I wish this device was actually in matte black because I would love to see this in the matte black variant, especially just with the keyboard lighting and all that fun stuff. Now. The Surface Book is a two-in-one device, not just a two-in-one as a flip-up, it's a detachable display. Tell me any other laptop where you can basically detach it, walk away, take it, start reading, browsing the web, you know, 10 finger touch, all that fun stuff, or using the Surface Pen, which is not provided with this device. I kind of found that as a bummer, especially for what you're paying for and the price levels here, is that it should have been bundled in, it just wasn't, and that's something that I was a little bit disappointed. But the Surface Pen, we know how good it is, we've used it in the past, and that would be something you could use quite easily here, but also just reviewing content and watching on that screen. Speaking of content, we care about games. So we talked about all the specs, everything that's in there. How is gaming performance and what does it bring to the table? Especially if you're buying something like the Surface Book and you're thinking about it for work, because also Microsoft touts a pretty massive battery life of 17.5 hours. We'll talk about a battery life uh, in this video as well. But um, how is gaming performance? We've got a 1660 Ti. We're gonna check out games like Call of Duty Warzone, uh, Grand Theft Auto V, um, Apex uh, Season 5 as well, uh, Street of Rage 4, which is a great game to play, and Halo Anniversary Edition. Just a quick caveat though, uh, the drivers are not the most up-to-date GeForce drivers, it's just one off. Uh, I got that information while trying to play Call of Duty Warzone, so just put that in mind when you're seeing performance and all that stuff from this device. So, let's go ahead and see some of the games.
music, chop. There's a chopper, there's a chopper. We stick to the plan, we're home free. Hey, cool, they ain't made this car yet. So in all honesty though, this thing can actually game. It's not meant to be a gaming device, but it does do gaming pretty well. And if you're gonna pick up the Surface uh, Book 3, especially for work and for creative tools, whether you're editing, you're drawing, uh, this will do the job for you quite well as a gamer. Now, I will put, point this out. First of all, it runs really loud. Uh, the fans do spin up while you're playing uh, uh, games, so it's best thing to play with a headset. Although even playing without a headset, I was it kind of drowns out at some point. Uh, Performance-wise, roughly around 60 frames per second for all games. Of course, certain games dipped, uh, but again, and again, drivers are not up to date fully, so that's just something to bear in mind. Now, in terms of temperatures, it does run warm, uh, both display and the base. Again, think about it this way, or well, the, the base has the uh, GTX, and of course the display has your Intel chipset in there. So that's something to take note. Now, some of you ask, can you also game just with the tablet in tablet mode alone? And yes, you can. There's certain games you can play, the easier games, but games like Street of Rage will run quite well. Remember, it still has an Intel Iris Pro uh, GPU in there, so that should be able to play certain games for you. And Street of Rage 4 handles that really well. I love that game. You should definitely go ahead and check it out. Now, there's so much more to this device than just gaming or just doing creative work. Like as I mentioned, it's got two cameras that are recorded 1080p. The cameras, of course, use for Windows or low. And I want you to just take a look and see how well the cameras and the microphones work, especially for video conferencing, because we're doing that quite a lot right now. So let's take a look. So this is what the front-facing camera of the Surface Book 3 looks like, especially if you're using this for video chats. I think it does a good job in representing uh, myself, background, and doesn't feel like a traditional webcam because it shoots at 1080p. Uh, you do have a rear camera as well, which we can take a look at quickly, which looks a little bit like this. Also, using the microphones off the Surface Book 3 to give you an idea of what it sounds like using this for webcam calls since we're going to be doing a lot of that nowadays. 
that was actually pretty cool. Great camera performance, both front and back. I like that. Um, and we also heard audio quality from the speakers. Now, I will say for me, the speakers are not super loud, but they're loud enough. Remember, they're around the display and not by the base of this device, because of course, when you put it in tablet mode, uh, it goes uh, right there for you to listen. Uh, and I think, you know, when you're watching content, you're watching videos, uh, whether it's in tablet mode or in tent mode or whatever mode you want to put it in, uh, you get some really good sound, but you also get some really good performance from this device. Now, this device is not for everyone. I have to put that caveat here. Now, as I mentioned, you can improve your graphics to something like, of course, a Quattro, uh, if, especially if you're doing more uh, graphical design work and things like that, um, but it's probably not needed. Now, some of you say, yes, there are different laptops in different price ranges, and that's very true. Um, you know, we've seen some great, great stuff from Asus. We've seen the, the new Dell XPSs. I would say this fits into the, the creative who wants a little bit more performance and a lot of battery life. And speaking of that battery life, in some of my light gaming playing Street of Rage and then using the laptop on a regular basis, I've got about 12 hours of battery life, maybe 12, 12.5 in total, which is not up to the 17.5, of course, but that was, of course, me, me gaming as well. Uh, now, I will point out that you guys should definitely check out my buddy, um, you know, the Unlocker. Uh, he is going to have, his, of course, his battery life test where you guys will see how it performs in his, in his day in the life. So check out that video uh, to see what he's actually getting for uh, streaming it, streaming video on this device uh, straight all the way. So where does the Surface Book 3 land? I think this is a unique device that is built for creating. Um, I like its functionality. I like the performance that I got. Um, I do wish it was a little lighter and I also wish it came with the S Pen as well, especially just thinking of the creative nature that this device brings to the table. In terms of gaming, you can definitely game with this if you're picking it up. The 1660 Ti definitely works well and if you're packing you the 16 and 32 gigabytes of RAM, you should be good should be good and you shouldn't have to worry. Um, if you're worried about price, then it might not be for you, but I think this falls in a certain segment. I like the power performance. I would like to see an AMD variant in the future um, because we've seen some really cool things from AMD. And I would also like to see uh, something uh, maybe a little thinner and a little change to that design as well with some more uh, USB Type-C boards. So there are things to improve, but there are things that work out well. We'll have to see what Microsoft delivers in the future, but if you think about picking up the device, we'll leave a link for you down below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the Surface Book 3. Do you like it? Is this something that fits your work style or your, your home style? Or is this something that you might pass? Leave your thoughts down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.